Hi, I'm Chef Isabel. I'm sure many of you were looking forward to watching the Masters this week. So in honor of that tradition, I'm going to show you how to make another time-honored tradition that runs synonymously with the tournament, the pimento cheese sandwich. It's very easy, very versatile, you're going to love it. I'm going to start off with 8 ounces of cream cheese that I've already had sitting out for about 20-30 minutes to soften up. I've given it a good stir. And I've also mixed a couple tablespoons of whipping cream in there because it was just a little on the stiff side. So I wanted to soften it up a little bit more. I'm just, you know, stirring that in. And now using a hand mixer, I'm gonna go ahead and just whip it up a little bit. Just getting all those lumps out so it just had a nice smooth texture. all I needed. I'm going to add a cup of cheddar cheese and that's sharp cheddar cheese that I'm using and then also a cup of Monterey Jack cheese a couple tablespoons of mayonnaise four ounces of pimentos going to stir all that up you could use a food processor but the processor is going to really break it down and basically turn it into um, a consistency of mashed potatoes and you're not going to really see the textures you're not going to feel those textures of the cheeses and the pimentos in there so if you don't mind that you can perfectly fine to use a food processor I prefer the texture, so I'm just going to go ahead and use, you know, just use my hands and just give it a good stir. Yep. You can, you can see the peppers, you can see the cheeses. You've got a nice, smooth, velvety texture to it from the cream cheese and the whipping cream and the mayonnaise just coming together. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a, a sprinkle, not too much. I'm going to add a little, it's called pimenton. You can find this at Sur La Table. You may be able to find it at, um, uh, what is it, Tom Thumb. I'm not really sure if you can find it at um, your local, your more local stores. It's more of a specialty item, but it's definitely worth looking for. I'm just going to go ahead and just give it a sprinkle from one end of my bowl to the other. It's going to give it a little more depth and color and definitely more depth and flavor. So that's about half a teaspoon. If you don't have this on hand, you can certainly use a smoked paprika or regular paprika. It's just not going to have as bold or robust a flavor. Also, if you're just looking for some color, you can add a little turmeric to it. I'm gonna stir in that smoked paprika. It smells wonderful, by the way. You'll know the difference. If you ever try to buy this, you'll definitely see the difference. You'll taste the difference. You'll smell the difference. It's just a wonderful, wonderful ingredient to use in this recipe. Okay. Lastly, um, normally for this recipe, a lot of people like to use onion powder and garlic powder, um, which is perfectly fine. You'll wanna use a quarter teaspoon of each one if that's what you're using. But I happen to have a shallot on hand, and so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and use the shallot. I just had a little leftover, and I didn't want to throw it out, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to just shave it into my mixture. Not too much. I don't want it to overpower the flavors. And then I'm going to do the same with my garlic. Out of there. Give that a good stir. I can already smell all the different aromas coming together. 
So I know it's gonna taste great once it sets. Now, if you don't have enough um, pimento peppers to make this, to make it a good four ounces out of it, you're more than welcome to either substitute uh, jarred red peppers with for it, or you can just add to it. They, they definitely complement each other. Okay, that looks just about right. So here we have it. It's got a nice light orange color to it. Definitely smells great. So we're gonna stay with uh, authenticity and we're gonna just use plain white bread. And I wanna make this a healthy, healthy serving. So we're just gonna really lather on this pimento cheese thick on this bread. Ideally, you'll wanna let this sit in your refrigerator. Just put a little plastic wrap on top, seal it, put it in your refrigerator for about 30 minutes to two hours to get those flavors to really come together before you serve it. And it'll um, thicken up your filling as well. The cream cheese will start to set. But there's nothing wrong with eating it right away either. And for those of you who are grilled cheese fans, this makes a great grilled cheese sandwich. There you have it. Beautiful. Cool. Thank you for spending a few moments with me today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a great day.